Hi, my name is Troy. This is Daphne and <laughs> Lucas. Mm. And today we are talking about why kids should do farm chores. Right? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Okay, so this collaboration was started by Farm Alarm, Tracy over at Farm Alarm. And what we're talking about today is kids doing chores on the farm. So I've already videoed the kids doing chores on the farm and we are gonna have them talk about their chores and what they think it means to them. And we are gonna, uh, hi Corbin. <laughs> Do you do chores on the farm? No. He's just three. He likes to get the eggs though, don't you? Do you like to get eggs? Hmm. All right, so let's get to the video. Oh, and make sure uh, on all the other channels uh, to go check out the all the other videos that the other channels have uh, uploaded. And some of those are um, Dirt Patch Heaven, Cog Hill, my man Jason over at Cog Hill, the Neils Homestead, the Texas Boys, Little Mountain Ranch, Teal House Farm, and the Holler Homestead. So be sure and go check out all those other videos uh, that they are doing on the same uh, about uh, chores on the homestead. So for kids, right? Yep. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, so here comes Lucas. He's going to do uh, the chores first. He's coming out of our uh, back door where we store our feed in the winter. And you can tell that the chickens and ducks are happy to see him. So Lucas, tell us what's happening. I'm going to the isolated coop, which used to be our silky coop, to feed the Icelandics that we put now and <clears throat> so we separate there's a couple of ducks and some other bigger chickens that are not their breed that sometimes come into the coop and we just give them one scoop in one bucket the buckets and then one scoop on the ground And they usually give us around one to two eggs, maybe a day, mm -hmm. depending yep. on the weather. Yep, they just started laying here recently, and <clears throat> seems like it took a long time for them to start laying. But uh, and there, there's Lucas. He's putting another scoop in another bowl. We have way too many roosters right now, so there's a lot of... Uh, wrestling going on on and hierarchy going on in there so we're gonna have to sell a couple and there's a lucas he's looking for some eggs and i think mommy got them this morning when she checked and we have two silkies they're both hens we have these two and we sold most of them to save some money from buying chicken food and we just give give these two hens one scoop mm -hmm. and the rooster died yeah. a couple of weeks yeah, ago a couple of weeks ago he died um so yeah we're, we got the silkies in here because the icelandics are just crazy about them and like i said there's way too many roosters so we usually keep them pinned up but we usually let we let them out every once in a while and i'm going to feed the ducks as you can see there's a couple of big chickens that sometimes get over and get over ahead mm. yep. but this is mostly for the ducks here yep the big chickens just come over here because they think they can and just have a quick snack before they have their big coop meal all together and here's the 
water we have for the dogs, ducks, chickens, cats, everything that roams around free. Mm -hmm. Mostly the ducks turn it brown for us. Yeah. They do a good job of that. <laughs> so Lucas is going to rinse it out here and fill it up with clean water. We do this twice a day. Once in the morning and once at night. <clears throat> the dogs mostly drink out of this bowl, but not always. We have a couple more around the property. And if you haven't seen the video of why he's putting that wire on there, that's to keep the ducks out of there from taking a bath. And I'll put that video right up over Lucas's back there. And I'm going to speed up the video here real quick. And it's just going to fill up. And when it's done, it's going to turn it off. And put the shutter in front of it. And that's to try to keep it from, like, the faucet from freezing. But we have a cover for it. So we took it off so since it's not as cold as it used to be. Yeah, it keeps a little of the wind off the faucet. And there's one of the chickens we're getting ready to go feed. One of the big uh, roosters. The main rooster. So our other coop is on the other side of the property, and that's what we call the big chicken coop. And now we're going to go fast motion here. And then the chickens all figure out they're getting fed and they'll slow it back down this is one of the fun parts of doing chores is they get all excited about eating and their meal and when we go back in the house we'll show we'll talk about what we're feeding them we're actually fermenting that's why you saw Lucas come out of the house with the with the food is we don't you can't you can't ferment out in the barn because it'll freeze so that's why he was in the house okay there's our coop go ahead Lucas tell them what you're doing we just <clears throat> since we have um, fed most of everything there we just scoop out the rest of the remaining food inside there into the um, separate containers to spread them out to not cause any fights over any food. As you can see, there's around the feeder, there's a little bucket, and then around trough, and a little homemade thing that I'm putting stuff in and we never we try to get all the poop out of it so the chickens don't get diseases from eating um chicken poop in their food and that's one of the containers or one of the feeders that we picked up from a flea market one time i think it cost us like five dollars for that it's like i think it's an antique one it's really nice so he's just going to put the rest of the feed in the trough there. And like I said, we ferment the food and they love it, as you can tell. Uh, when he's done scraping this out, he's going to... Um, the coop is attached to the run here and he'll go in and get the few eggs that we get every day it is winter right now it's uh, February the beginning of February so our egg count is down pretty drastically I think we're averaging oh five to six a day something like that Most of the time, if it gets really cool 
in like the 20s around there we usually get three yep so now we're in the chicken coop you've probably seen seen some videos inside of here before but we have quite a few nesting boxes and they seem to like two or three the most so I think we have way too many nesting boxes and he didn't bring the basket so they get to go in the pocket and and there's our automatic water right there that would keep that heated so they always have unfrozen water and, and I believe there's somehow um, there's some ways of using some non-electricity to keep your water unfrozen. I can't remember what the ingredients are, but I think you can look it up. And there's some ingredients how to keep your water unfrozen without using electricity. Really? We're going to have to look that up because I've never heard of anything that works. Yeah. Okay. We'll look that up. Okay, now, uh, if you notice, he set the bucket down there on the other side of the fence. That might be a problem here in a second. <laughs> but we're going to go, he's going to go check on the the water over here in the back and the, all this water is is for the goats yeah and the boys and the girls share this water and since it's been pretty cold the last few days you can see the ice on the ground from the uh, buckets it is totally empty and, and and mommy filled that up this morning and so that's like 10 gallons of water that they drank within a few hours so they've been pretty thirsty um, I'll pan around here in just a second. Oh, yeah, look at this. <laughs> look at that crazy goat. She doesn't even care that she's getting she's getting blasted with water. She's so thirsty. Yeah, that's pretty funny. She's done it before. Yep, see, look at that. And her sister. Goofy. Goofy, goofy goats. They are always up to something. Yeah. But they love hanging out around the water hole, that's for sure. I mean, who doesn't like drinking out of a faucet? Huh? We do. I know, it's awesome. It's, if it's going fast enough and you're tilting your head just the right angle, it'll probably go right down your nose. <laughs> I've done it before. <clears throat> So that little yellow and red over there, that's a cattle water. It's got an automatic float in it, and it's very well insulated, but it's been so cold lately that it's been freezing, and the goats have not been able to drink out of that, and that's why they're going through this water so quickly. So we definitely have to make sure we check it twice, at least twice a day. So it's pretty well full. What are we going to go do now, Lucas? Going to fill back up the feed bucket for the chickens for the next day because we swap out buckets. We set them for 24 hours. Yeah, at least. So we have at least two buckets going around and there's the problem with the bucket yep is they're sticking their heads in it and getting at least two heads in there <laughs> yep he stuck it a little too close to the fence so they were real happy to clean out the the grain that was left in there from the chickens not <laughs> naughty goats that's what goats are they are always looking for an opportunity to get one over on you real sneaky all right well, we're gonna speed you up here 
and get you back to the house. We're going to take the bucket back. And, oh, we have another chore that you're going to do first. Oh, yep. In the trash can at the, um, at our driveway. So, uh, our trash man doesn't come onto our property because we have a gate up front. So, we have to wheel down the trash up to the curb, which is not that far, just down the driveway and out the gate. Uh, because we don't want the dogs getting out. So, it is right outside there. And so, yep, our trash comes. And when they dump it, then we bring the trash can back to the house. I know Cherokee misses the trash man terrible. Because him and the trash man, they were good buddies for, I don't know, four or five years before we put the gate up. But now the gate's up and... They can't hang out anymore. It's too bad. And here he comes. He's going to wheel it back down the driveway. And I think I'll fast motion in it here again. But this is part of your chores, right? Yep. So what do you think about the chores, Lucas? I mean, you do. he does chores five days a week uh, through the week. And then on the weekends, um, I uh, might I might ask him to do chores with me or by himself or whatever. But I basically do the same chores he does on the weekend. So what do you think about doing the chores? I think they're fine to do. It helps out the whole household. Um, it basically just helps everything go smoother mm -hmm. we have to keep our animals fed don't we yep because they depend help, on us don't they it helps make money so that we take care of our um, animals and everything and then we make videos and then that helps make feed for them and then we'll have some left over and then yeah mm -hmm. Yep. So it basically just makes a cycle if we keep our animals fed. Yep, because we depend on them, the chickens for eggs and the goats for milk. And all the milk, you know, we turn into cheese and soap and lots and, of stuff. And the goats and rabbits for their manure to make gardens and yep. plant stuff. Yep. And here's our mud room. It really is a mud room. It's got mud on the floor right now. And so he's getting the eggs out of his pocket. And uh, as most people would tell you, he's kind of gambling because you put eggs in your pocket, one little bonk, and you're going to have a pocket full of eggs. One time, I don't know what I was doing, but I was like playing around and Daphne was bonging on the window, and I, um, I was acting like I was getting shot or whatever, and so I fall on the ground trying to make sure the eggs don't crack, and I literally fell on top of them, and they did not crack. <laughs> so since these eggs got pretty chilly, we go ahead and put them in the fridge. The ones that are warm, that come in the house warm, we usually put them in a basket over by the kitchen counter but these were chilly so he put them in the fridge thank you for that and you might be able to see it. it's a little nope well it's a little three um little basket hanging thing that hangs from the ceiling ceiling that can hold vegetables stuff like that and we have some garlic in it and stuff like that mm -hmm. so here's the feed that we have in the house and we have mommy's got it pre-mixed and all lucas does is we've got a, a coffee scoop a coffee container in there and he puts two big scoops in that bucket and then what and then we'd add some water and there's these well it's this K 
chemical these it's the chicken powder grit. powder or whatever that we like the minerals that we use for goats we also use for the chickens and then yep, the that's all mixed in there yep and then put some warm water with it and let it sit yep so he's getting ready to put the water in and for those two scoops it's about it's not quite a gallon of water when it when the feed starts floating when you're pouring the water in that's when you know about when to stop and then he's going to mix it up and we'll need a little bit more water mm -hmm. since it soaks it up a little bit Yep, so the chores are almost done, and there's he's going to put a little grit in, in the feed for the chickens. And I think you're about done, dude. Thank you for doing a great job. Yep. We appreciate your help. It's good to know where your food comes from, doesn't it? Yep. Good job. Okay, it's Daphne's turn, and there she is smiling, getting ready to do her chores. So what you doing, Daphne? I am feeding the indoor dogs. Mm-hmm. And which dogs are those? Uh, Cherokee, Benny, and Charlie. Uh-huh. And who's first? Cherokee. Cherokee, and he's the big white fluffy one <laughs> there. He like He'll sit down for you. Yep. And and then Charlie gets not near as much because he's tiny, <laughs> but he's the boss, right? Yeah, whatever. Yeah. And then who's next? Benny. Benny's next. And Benny usually sits down too, but he didn't sit down this time, did he? Nope. Nope. Okay, what's next? I am going to feed Squanto. Uh-huh. Who's Squanto? The cat right there on the box. Yep. The food. He's our mystery kitty that showed up out of nowhere. Yep. yep. In the barn. And there's Corbin. So how, how can we keep the cat food in the closet there? Because the dogs might eat it. That's right. Because they like cat food, don't they? Yeah. Okay. So we just feed that one cat in the house? Yeah. Yeah. What else? What are we going to do now? Uh, we're going to go up. We're going to let the dogs outside so they can go potty. Yep. How come these dogs eat inside the house? You don't know? Well, they're kind of, they're mostly inside dogs, except for Cherokee. Yeah. He eats inside because he's got some... Uh, we didn't want to feed him with the puppies, which are these two guys, right? Mm-hmm. Patu and Cheyenne. Yep. So... They look like they know what's going to happen, huh? Yeah. I think they like you. Mm-hmm. Or they know that they're going to eat. Yeah. Yep. So what do you, why do you like doing chores? Or why should kids do chores? Um. What do you think? You don't know? Well, do you like doing chores? Yeah. Yeah. It looks like the dogs like you doing chores. <laughs> so we do cho we do chores to, so you can take care of the animals, right? Yeah. Because they take care of us, don't they? Mm-hmm. Cheyenne and Patu, they're out gardening all night, making sure nothing yep. comes on the property. Mm-hmm. Uh right? -huh. So we have to take care of them. And so I'm turning on the lights right here. Yeah, I should have had her turn on the lights earlier so those fluorescent lights 
uh, got warmed up, but it's going to be really dark in the back of the barn here. And <clears throat> I'm going to fast forward it here real quick, but Daphne's going to feed the two puppies here or the two dot are two great Pyrenees Akbosh mix and it's going to be really dark and you can't see it so my apologies it's just that's kind of the way barns are so sorry about that but uh, she does turn on some lights here and we'll have her open the door to let some more light in just right out back here is where our uh, our goats are and she we have a little chain that holds the door open so it doesn't slam shut from the wind. Okay, now I'm gonna fast forward it right here. She's feeding the puppies. The puppies get, um, I think they get about six to seven cups a day of food. And so Daphne's feeding them and she's gonna come around here next and she's going to do what? Feed the rabbits. Yep. So what the other chore that Daphne does is she takes care of the rabbits. Mommy helps with that in the morning and Daphne does that at night. Yep. Who is this? Wh which bunny is this one? Ned. Ned. Uh-huh. He's pretty sweet, isn't he? Mm-hmm. These are just our pet rabbits. We We just like having them and they're good for... Uh, all the manure that we put on the garden, and uh, they're real sweet. So she's feeding them pellets, and what are you doing with the water here? I'm going to chop out some little icicles that are in there in the water, and then I'll put it back in because there's already enough water in there. Yep. So we usually have the... Um, automatic waterers on the side but those they freeze and um, so we put bowls metal bowls uh, in there in the winter so we can get the ice out yeah and who is this bunny uh, snowflake mm-hmm and she got some pellets and she's got some frozen water yeah. It usually our barn stays actually pretty warm. Um, unless it gets really cold at night, the water actually does pretty well in the barn as long as we keep that back door closed from the wind circulating through there. Uh, it actually stays pretty warm back there in the back. I think uh, when we filmed this, it was probably. Uh, in the low 20s, mid 20s, I think. Okay, so who are you feeding next? Jojo. Jojo. And Jojo is a, a uh, lion head. We've had her for, I think, nine years, maybe? Something like that. We had her at, at the other house. We did. It's true. And who is this? Uh, Oreo. Oreo. And he gets some pellets. And I think his water was okay. No, you get, you get it, don't you? Yeah. Yep. So it's real important with bunnies to make sure they have water, right? Uh-huh. Can you tell us about that? No. <laughs> he, well, bunnies do need quite a bit of water. And they, uh, their, their systems are real fragile, and so we have to, we have to make sure we have, they have water, um, all the time. And Daphne's gonna pull out the jug there, and I think it's frozen. Yeah. So we talk about going to get some water out back here. Yep. So now you can see again. We'll go out here and get some water in the jug for... And there's the two boy goats. There's actually three out there. What what are their names? Uh, Captain Kirk, uh, Randall, and... Uh, Devo? Devo, that's right. We had Devo last year. 
Yeah. Yep. And so Daphne's just going to put a little bit of water in it and make yep. sure we get it turned off because that's very important. Yeah. Because we've left it on a couple times and had a giant mess, didn't we? Yeah. Yep. Mommy did. I did it too. It's a real easy mistake to make. And of course the goats think we have something for them. And Andy's having a little problem on the back end there. <laughs> and the dogs are done eating. So now they want to come out with the goats and we tell them no. And Daphne puts the bowl back in there and then she's going to pour some in. She's like an expert pourer of water. Aren't you? I flooded the bowl one time. You did? Yeah. It was horrible. Well, you did a good job this time. That was horrible. So, she's got the water in. So, what's next? Um... What are we doing next? Do you forget? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> And that's when I say, what are we doing? Oh, I don't know. Turn off the lights. Right? Yep. And that little area back there where she turned the lights on and off, that's where um, we call that the nursing pen. That's where we had the baby goats. The goats have their babies if we can time it out right. And we close the door so it doesn't stay cold back there. And then we're going to go back out. Right? Yep. Okay, so I think that's the end of the chores. So you did a great job, Daphne, as always. Mm-hmm. Thank you for doing a great job. We really appreciate your help. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. All right, so you got to turn off the lights, and that's it. That it? Yep. That's it. Okay, all done. Thank you. Bye. All right, so you can see the kids did a great job doing chores. They do mm -hmm. all the time, don't you? Yeah. So we almost. Mommy and I appreciate you guys doing a great job, mm -hmm. and it's really super important that you do a good job, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So I want to thank you for doing a good job, because all of these skills will help you later mm -hmm. when you either have your own farm or you have your own animals when you're an adult mm -hmm. you'll learn how to take care of them mm -hmm. right yes right yep yep and we we appreciate where our food comes from right yes mm -hmm. yep because when when you raise up a chicken for three months for a meat bird it's a big deal isn't it, it takes mm -hmm. a lot of work yes yeah so yep well, again, thanks to Tracy at Farm Alarm for uh, this great co collaboration. Uh, I think the kids are going to look back at this video in five, ten years and think, wow, we used to do all those chores. <laughs> right? Because the chores change all the time. We change them up on them all the time. Mm -hmm. um, but And depending on if it's you know cold outside or hot, it, the chores are always changing. So we always have to talk to the kids and explain what's going on and uh, so it helps with our communication too mm -hmm. so we talk a lot yep so all right well thanks again tracy at farm alarm and make sure everyone to go down i'll put the links down below uh to all the other channels that are in this collaboration and uh again i want to thank you for doing a great job on the chores mm -hmm. okay all right We'll see you again on Chicka Wolf Ranch. See you later. Bye-bye.